Hi Techies, in this video I am gonna cover one more Informatica scenario based interview question. That is if you see on my screen I have source file and target file. So like this we have to transform the data from source to target. In my source file I have department number, employee name and in target file I have department number and employee list. Okay, these are my columns. If you see my source file, department number is not in the sorting order, but in target file, it's in sorting order. You have to understand the logic first of all, then only we are going to create a mapping for this. So I am just trying to explain the logic what we have to implement to get the target data like this from this source file. Okay. So employee name, if you see employee name in the source file, it is also not in the sorting order. So it's just randomly we have the records. But in target file, they have sorted on employee names also. Okay. So first department number we have to sort on ascending order and employee names also we have to sort on the ascending order. And also if you see the first regard we have um, 10 a employee list in employee list we have just one employee name and in second record we have 10 comma a comma b so if if you take this last record in the source that is 10 comma b okay for this employee name we have to add first previous record okay employee name and current record employee name for the second record if you take third record uh, again 10 comma c we have in the source file right but here it's a comma b comma c in the employee list so again previous record employee list we have to add and current employee name we have to add for the third record like that we have to add previous employee name list and current employee name for employee list column in the target so this is the logic for this i'm going to explain through mapping by designing mapping how we can create informatica mapping for this data transformation before that i just want to show you my source file so this is my source file sample underscore data one dot csv file this is my source file okay i'm just going to zoom it to everybody see right so this is my data same data whatever I explained earlier in the screen. So same data I am just kept here. I am going to take this source file as my source in my mapping. I'm just creating new mapping with connection, flat file connection in my source because I'm using flat file as my source as shown earlier, CSV file. I'm going to select that CSV file here. So name is sample data. Sample data one dot CSV. This is my source file as shown earlier. And I'm going to do some formatting here. So comma delimited only by default and text call where I'm keeping text none. And now I'm going to create target, I mean configure target connection also. So flat file only, this is also. And I'm going to create target at the run time. Okay. So create new at runtime and static file name is tzt underscore ff underscore employee list. 
this is my target file um, tzt underscore ff underscore employee underscore list underscore csv okay in formatting option same i just kept whatever for source same thing i'm going to keep here so text qualifier as none comma delimited okay so source and target is ready now and now i'm going to add sorter for sorting the department number and employee name in ascending order okay where is the sorter yes this is the sorter and also i'm going to take one more expression so this is the expression okay i'm just rearranging it in sorter i'm going to do sorting on two fields one is department number in ascending order and employee name in ascending order i'm just going to save this and in expression i'm going to create one more variable port so if you see here there is a plus symbol in expression so i'm going to create first variable field with the name v underscore employee list okay this is of string 255 length because we have only that much length if we can't get also okay I'm just going to take one more output field. Earlier one is variable field. Now output field I'm taking with of or like employee list. I'll take it. Okay. This is output field. Okay, 255. Right. Now I'm going to configure variable port with some logic IAF if he is null of employee list V employee list. First time it's null only. So that time we're just going to add employee name. Okay. This variable port is null means it's first time, first record. So just I'm going to give employee name. So in condition, I'm going to give another one also, like uh, you know, is null. Sometimes if it's not works, means this one will work. Second one, okay. So I'm just giving two ports. That's it. In middle, I'm not going to give anything. Just it's uh, like a symbol of empty, okay. If this one or this one is true first condition or second condition either one is true then it's going to it's going to be just employee name okay and if it's not true means we have to append employee name for previous record employee list right that will store here so employee list i'm going to concatenate with first comma single quotes comma and then pipe symbol again oh it's went okay employee list concatenation with comma and then employee name so this one we have to add right so i'm going to validate this you understand the logic right if first first time for first record we employee list will be just uh, null or empty right that time 
we have to give only employee name we are not going to concatenate with we employee list i mean this is the same build okay so if if it's not null means something is there it's not the first record so we employee list for this we employee list i'm going to add employee name okay so this is variable port for concatenation of previous records of employee names okay now i am going to give here just variable port whatever we have calculated we with if condition we are uh, we are adding the employee list right so that employee list i am going to give in this output field that's it okay now in target i don't want employee name whatever coming from the source i just want this employee list this is output field right so whatever the logic we implemented that one only we have to send to the target so department number as usual i required in the incoming fields but i don't want this uh, which is coming from employee name which is coming from source so in include instead of all fields i'm taking name fields so we'll get this configure option so i'm just selecting whatever i needed so department number i needed employee list from the expression needed i don't want this employee name which is coming from the source right so i'm just saving this and i'm going to run going to my jobs it's not refreshing that's why i'm just doing one more time refresh it got failed because i opened this source file again every time i'll do same thing so i am just going to restart one more time i just close my source file See if you see here success and eight rows in source target also eight rows okay we'll see the target data now so this is my target data so if you see in this way if you see you will not understand it will open in notepad okay so if you see data target data same data we got whatever i explained in this slide same thing we got in output file okay this is expected one only so our logic is correct i'm just going to zoom this little bit so you will see clearly the data of target file which we have generated and just i'm checking it's matching or not okay so yes everything is matching right thank you for watching this video if you have any doubts please mention in the comment section and everybody please subscribe my channel if you like the video like and share to your friends and colleagues thank you